my criteria around money is very simple. If I'm going to spend even hundred dollars on something, if I can put that in the bank and get ten percent discount, then I won't accept anything less. But what is the point? I struggle and do something and lose hundred dollars in the process as well. So it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know about you, but it doesn't make any sense to me. So I I would at least expect that I get ten percent back. Otherwise, I would put it in the bank and do nothing. I still get ten percent anyway. So why spend my time and energy and lose the money on top and happy that I learned something? Can you share some good example more information about like to uh, be some businesses who are really taking good call on the money part, maybe trading or working capital? Ultimately, when you are going to uh, apply for any kind of funding uh, in your business, your your investor, first of all, if you have a very good idea but you haven't proven the results. And if the investor sees it, very rare chances that people will invest money. But let's say, for example, someone wants to invest, you will still be at the losing end because you haven't got the numbers right. They will take a big chunk in your business. And what happens that usually in the early stages, if you are going to take very small funding for a large chunk. your business valuation will be affected in later stage so if you going for a second round of funding it will be evaluated how it was done before so second round of funding you will have a very big challenge as well so that's one problem you will be always at the losing end if you apply for funding initially because majority of the people or i would say 100% but it's close to 100% only two issues i need funding i need customers Funding is the first thing. So everyone thinks business means funding. I don't have funds. I don't have money. I can't do business. Okay. That's totally wrong thinking. No investor is going to give you money to waste. So for most of the people, funding means a bill. That's what I'm going to do. So you, because you yourself don't know how to make money, your focus is only on spending someone's money. there is nothing in that plan which shows i need this money so what exactly is your um, investor going to get out of this nothing in it and you are asking them to put money if they put that money in bank they will get free interest at no anxiety no stress nothing and here we say business is risky so it's high risk and all that that's fine business could be risky and all that but you don't have to make something risky by not doing planning okay that's not what risk means you can plan you can minimize risk but not doing that and saying business is risky and it's all good you know that is why we are giving you such a big percentage because it's risky that's not correct so no one is going to be in you can't convince anyone to put money from that angle even if your idea is super good so ultimately as saying that the whole point around business is not the idea but the person behind the idea if the idea is billion dollars but in wrong hands in 1000 rupees hands then the idea is worth 1000 rupees only it's not worth billion dollars so worth billion dollars in someone else's hands so focus on becoming a bigger person yourself first lift your own standards first your business will lift by itself and that's how the investors will see that no investor invests in an idea very rarely very rarely they invest in idea even if they do then they have some hidden agenda to kick you out at some point okay. so very rarely investors will invest in ideas they'll always invest in the person so it has to be ultimately it has to be the person because that's what they have to work with they also know market changes idea is good today might not be good tomorrow so if you are too attached to your idea you don't change you don't innovate then their money is invested in a very risky investment 
So what they want to see is that they are attracted to you because of the idea. So they first saw the idea. They like the idea. But they don't invest because of the idea. They invest because now they like you. So they connect with the person behind that idea and they see that, okay, I, the idea is good but the person behind it is, is even better. So now we have to invest in this person because tomorrow market will change or you might come up with a new plan, new product, then you pick up any of the um, best sellers, the writers, almost all of them says that it was very hard for them to get the first book published. Second book they published in five minutes. Even the content wasn't ready. They just told the publisher that I am thinking of the next book and they signed it. So they didn't invest on the book, they invested on the writer. That's how it works. So don't focus too much on the funding side of things. Focus on the results first. Focus that whatever you need to, even if you have very small budget, prove your results with small budget, then you can go out to the market and say, if I can do this with this small budget, then I can do bigger things with bigger budget. They can see their investment is safe as well. But don't say I can't do this because I don't have 50 lakhs, I don't have 5 crores or anything like that. that no one is going to give you that kind of money because it's just, it's unrealistic. Even one, two lakhs, doesn't matter. The amount doesn't matter. You shouldn't even be asking it to begin with. If you if you haven't done it, it's not correct to even ask, even if it's 20,000 rupees. It's not correct to ask. Why you gamble with someone else's money? You put your own. Many people do that. Many people have money. They don't want to put it. They want to play it with somebody else's money. Only because they won't want to use their own. Now, that itself shows you their thought process. That I don't want to use my own money. Why? Because I don't know. So I'm comfortable spending someone else's money and that's all good, but I can't. So the ethics itself is showing. Doesn't matter how good idea they have. Person is not ethical. No one will want to work with that kind of person. Ideas are fun. Ideas are more good ideas are there as well. No investor invests in ideas. So if you think that is why you are getting attracted, then you are wrong. So detach yourself from the idea as soon as possible. Work on your idea passionately. Do whatever you want to do, but detach yourself because no one is investing on the idea, they are investing on you. So become investable.